All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you a really fast track way to do um, a Cricut shirt. This will be a gift for our daughter, soon to be Godfather. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up Design Space, and of course, it will pop up. Now, what we are going to do is a Godfather themed shirt, um, of course, with the Godfather logo. I already did the design, but I was like, hey, what the heck? Let me share it with you guys. Uh, get a video out there. Um, we're gonna Google. Let me turn my capital off. Uh, the Godfather logo. I don't really care to look for uh, PNGs anymore because with Design Space you can create PNGs. I want to go ahead and click Save Image As. Blah blah blah. Uh, uh, I'll just save it here. The Godfather logo. I already have it on my computer, but that's fine. So what we're gonna do now is um, something that I like to do is I like to use the templates at times because the templates really help to know what size I want my shirts to be. And these shirts pretty much come out as a large. The template seems like it's more of a large size. We're gonna go to fashion and t-shirt now if you guys are familiar with the design space I can help you with that it said this is only used for reference this won't print out on your shirts or anything so um, what I want to do is I'm going to change this shirt to the color that I have because I'm a very visual person uh, sorry it's taking some time da -da 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 -da. all right so this is the color that my t-shirt is and I'm going to be using gold yellowish gold text because her godfather is a Q mega spy spy sci-fi omega spy sci sci-fi I think it's omega sci-fi don't shoot me guys so um and then the text of course is going to be gold as well but first thing first is you're going to go ahead and you want to upload that image that you just downloaded so uh, we're going to go to my pictures We're going to find that logo that we just saved which is that father And with this uh, it's going to ask you is it a simple modern or complex image? It's a simple image everything that just turned gray will be easier for me to click away later So all I have to do is click it Now all the gray is gone, but if you look closely inside of the hand, there's still gray there This is me turning this image into a PNG so there will no longer be a white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and click away all the gray. This is one thing that I love about the Cricut, um, the newer one, because a lot of people say the older ones, you couldn't make PNGs, you couldn't get your own images, but you could simply upload this image right off the internet and turn it into your own PNG prior to uh, bringing it to your project. So I'm gonna save it as the Godfather logo. I'm going to leave it to where it's possible to print because maybe one day I want to use a uh, print if I were to just click this one over here um, the the grayed out one it would only cut and if I ever wanted to print it out on a uh, transfer sheet I would have to re download the image to where it's possible to print in different colors so I'm going to allow it to stay this one where I can print it out later and then here it says the Godfather logo and here if you want to specify you can put logo and then um, continue now now we have our design you're going to go ahead and you're going to click it you're going to insert the image into your project boom simple right now you want to scale it to your shirt like I said these shirts run about a size large so if you are doing a small shirt you will probably want to make it a bit smaller uh, to scale but uh, he's a tall guy so we got him like a large and then I want it to be a good size so the godfather now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna let it know it thinks that I want to print it but I don't want to print it out I actually want to cut it only and I'm going to cut it with this orange gold looking vinyl uh, it's just to help you guys with visuals so um, another thing that I have been doing is I have been uploading my um, how can I say it? I guess I call it my 
Hello images. You all. You guys are gonna see all my work. I trust that you don't kill my ideas. But this is my um I guess you can say my local for my company for my Etsy store, etc. etc. It's very small. I purposely made sure that it came out small. And this I basically put to the bottom of all my shirts now. So if it's my shirt, you'll see it down at the bottom in the corner. Just like that, really small. And then uh, that's also going to be in the gold. I like it to match the vinyl that I'm working with. So, and then on the back of the shirt, one of the sayings for the fraternity is earn, not given. So with that, I realized that if I were to do this, earn, not given, it makes this long line and it's hard to kind of get it the way that you want it to be. So what I started to do now is I put one word per line. So I have earned and now what I'm going to do to make my life easy so I don't have to keep coming. Oh, sorry. I just did some crazy stuff. I'm going to flip it back up. What the world? And I'm going to flip it back over. Thank you for not being weird anymore. If you guys hear that noise in the background, that's my turtles basking in sunlight. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put, you see how that's extremely too large. Earned. Um, yeah, earned. I'm going to just duplicate this twice because then I'm going to put not and given. Duplicate it, bring them down. So now they're just the same size. And I can put Double tap it, earned, not given. And we thought that uh, this is actually one of the phrases that the fraternity used. And we thought it was awesome because this position as a godfather was earned, not given. It's not just something that we're giving him um, just because or his uh, financial statutes or anything of that sort. It's because he's been an amazing best friend to my husband, which is Isabel's. Uh, father of course and we want him to know that we do um, truly appreciate him so um I feel like this looks pretty good maybe I want to make it all capital though this is where you can just see what works best for you earned let me tell it that I want it to be semi Earned, element, centered, earned, not. Given. Boom, earned, not given. This is going to take up a lot of vinyl. So I am going to be a little cheap and make it smaller. I saw this really cool idea where somebody used the omega sign mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it hopefully uh, works out great so I think I'm going to take this one I'm going to Save image as Omega Sign. He lives by his uh, fraternity, so I want to make the best of it. I'm going to go ahead and upload. I don't know where I just saved it. I usually am more organized, but I don't want to have you guys all up in all my, you know, all my documents and all my pictures. Lord Jesus, so let's uh, go ahead and get this done. Like I said, anything that's great. We didn't need to download a PNG. We simply make it a PNG on our own. And uh, pretty much that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and if you want, you can look at the preview so you can see that, okay, this is exactly what I need. There's no extra white, but I don't really need the preview. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. I need a mouse because all this loud clicking is crazy. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw it into my project. I'm going to erase the O. It might come out huge. Oh no, it's not huge. That's what she said. Lord forgive me. Um, 
So I'm going to erase the O here. And I'm actually going to do the N, the O, and then I'm going to duplicate my N. I showed you guys before. Just made my life simple, and then I'm going to turn this N into a T. It is so simple for you guys to use your creativity on this. You just really have to be creative. Um, you really just have to want to figure some things out. And to make this easier for myself, I'm going to start it off. Just make sure it's as even as possible. And I'm going to group this together. Attach it. So that when I want to move it, I can just move it like that. So earned not given. Oh, they still think that I'm printing this. Thank goodness I caught it. This is going to be cut. It's going to be cut gold. And because I grouped it together, everything that was with it is now gold. And then this is going to be gold. And so is this. That's how you change the colors. Earned, not given. So this will be the front of the shirt. This will be the back of the shirt once again. And at the bottom you see my logo. And it should pretty much be to scale. So when I go to click print, it will pretty much already know what size I will need the scale to be. Uh, if this is like a large size shirt. I don't know how or why Sony, the template only allows for this size shirt, but I don't have for this size shirt. So I'm going to go ahead. I feel like my knot is not what I, what I want it to be. I feel like I'm going to go ahead and unattach it really quick. And I'm going to make this a little bigger. Bring my teeth closer and not give it. Hmm, I'm wondering if I want the Omega sign to blend in now. Let me see if I were to make it black. Mm -mm. God, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking here. I want to go ahead and keep it gold. And uh, pretty much that is it. So what I'm going to try to do with me and my crappy quality cameras, I'm going to try to record me setting everything up. I may do it Snapchat style, whereas every 10 seconds you'll see me, you know, loading it. Then you'll see me taking a quick cut of it and et cetera, et cetera. And then I'll put it all together for you guys uh, on the YouTube video. So. All right, here goes nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and click pause. Oh no, yeah, I'm gonna click pause and I'll be back. <laughs> 